Spotlight Southern Rap got a whole lot to do with the music today. Right now, the spotlight is on the girls in the South. Being in a male-dominated scene is one of those things where if you don't have tough skin, and if you don't mind being left out, you know, it would get to you. There's so much stuff that I get told that I'm not supposed to be doing. I'm going to do it 10 times harder, just, just to spite you. When a strong woman is in the building, the presence is felt. I don't know if we don't think about lose. Ho get wrong, put your life on snooze. I ain't got time for the beef and freeze. I'ma hood that bitch with a hood out of two. Nigga, if you run up, shit, you get done up. Fuck out of talk about it, go get your guns up. Won't worry about it, go get your funds up. He don't matter, we didn't already run, bro. What your hoes wanna do while they done it? I write my own raps in. They be real. If it ain't what I'm going through, it's what somebody close to me going through. And that's pretty much why people can feel, you know, my lyrics and understand, you know, everybody can't live the, the perfect life, because life not perfect. My name is Lil Chat, and I'm a female rapper from Memphis, Tennessee, and I've been rapping forever. It's Chad, bitch, and I'm back, bitch. And if your bitch is late, will be the day your ass get smacked, bitch. I always used to do a lot of talent shows, and a lot of people loved me doing talent shows, and just them end up saying, hey, Chad, we want to sign you. I said, y'all want to sign me? So yeah. So I came along, we did the Emitize Mind. Chicken Head was the first uh, platinum song that came out of Emitize Mind, period. The first video that was played in LA. The first song on the radio that was played in LA, Chicken Head, and it went platinum. And that was really my break, that was my debut. And I was one of the rappers that uh, I never felt like I had to show my body to make it, you know. Like I said, my name is Lil Chat. You all can Google me. I always wore the big baggy clothes. I always wore the T-shirts. I always wore the hats. I always, because I want selling my body. I, I'm selling music. I'm not selling body. I'm not looking for no dudes. I'm not looking for no girls. Nobody can never say, ooh, look at that, look at that. They always say, you heard Lil Chat? Ooh, she bumping. PMC told DJ Powell, where did y'all get this girl from? You know, her lyrics is like, you can't be writing these lyrics. And I'm like, yes, I am. You know, I'm from Memphis, so to me, I'm like, the lyrics one, they're impossible. But, you know, people that don't know Memphis streets and Memphis life, they look at me like, where this girl get this stuff from? It was the hardest thing I ever had to do in life was walk away from 3 6 Mafia and Hematized Camp. The money wasn't adding up, you know, as to what I thought it was supposed to be. I decided I wanted to do my own thing. You know, I said, well, it's time for me to be checked. You got people that's up north and they ain't from the south. They sound like southern rappers. You know, and we love it. It don't get no grimy, no more gutter, or no southern in us. Like I said, you heard in my voice, we are southern. <laughs> we got goals, we got tattoos, we, it's the real southern truth. I was mystique, I wore a mask. Nobody knew who I was, they couldn't touch me. I was surrounded by dudes that called themselves 666. I'm Gangsta Boo, Southern female hip hop pioneer. My first song with the group was a solo song. That's how dope I am. <laughs> Memphis artists can ride the fuck out of a beat. And um, I studied that, I practiced that all the time. I practiced making my voice clear, I practiced being very detailed in what I say. I practice how I deliver the words. Being a fucking rapper from Tennessee without no fucking platform is not the easiest thing. So the, the resilience, the, you know, the, the discipline, the, the, the moving with finesse and the swag and the not giving a fuck, being original, I think that is what has helped me. No one even sounds like their own borough, their own city, state, whatever you choose to call it, because they adore and admire our sound. And instead of me being like bitter about it, like a weirdo, y'all embrace that shit because I've never changed my shit. I 
I don't compromise who I am at all, and people will try to make you do that in order for you to get ahead a little bit faster, but I'm not willing to do that at all. I'm baby mother, and I'm a female rap artist from Chattanooga, Tennessee. I had my second set of twins. I moved into my grandmother's house, and my grandmother had, like, dementia. And so I was having to help take care of her, and I was at home all the time by myself with my grandmother and two newborns and my older two kids. So I started writing and, and seeing what I could come up with, and it was like the only thing that was keeping me from going crazy a little bit. I can be who I am and I can be proud of like being where I'm from where I'm from and everybody wants to sound like they're from the South anyway. Chat will get on a, you send her a track, she will get on it and she will eat it up. And I respect that. I respect people that can really do what they do. My rap style, I think I'm very graphic and I'm really into like painting a story and like using different metaphors to kind of like explain simple situations to make them more colorful. Um, I'm inspired by, of course, La Chad and life in general inspires my music style, my rap style, my creative style. Like, I just, think a lot, and so my music is a product of all of my thoughts. You can't get your pussy to a nigga who not used to getting pussy, cause that pussy gon' be everybody business. You can't say a dope to these niggas, cause they broke and they snitch and got these niggas busting shots up in your business. You can't get your pussy to a nigga who not used to getting pussy. When I was putting Motherland together, I originally wanted Rico Nasty on it, but she was touring. Me, Rico, and Chad are mothers. Music is supposed to heal people and make people feel good. When I go in a booth and I'm having a bad day, I want to make myself feel good. I want something that when I leave the studio, I can listen to on the way home and say, wow. My name is Rico Nasty. I am 21 years old. I am a rapper. I am a mother, a director, producer. I would go to school, typical, I'm around guys, they freestyling. We freestyle together, I jump in it, boom. I'm freestyling with the guys. I knew about Baby Mother when I was a regular person. I listened to Baby Mother. I still listen to Baby Mother. Like, I knew about Baby Mother when I was in the 10th grade. She is a goat, and she's a mother. So that's inspiration in itself. My mom listens to the chat. A lot of fire producers come from South. They always do. When I was in Memphis, it was very eerie, but it was fire. I come from a very dark area too, but all in all, when you go to places like that where it's really rough and it's dark, it be some of the brightest, happiest motherfuckers there. They just like positive vibes. So they be around so much negativity. A lot of girls out here who are really fire, and that's really what will win my heart over is the originality and the sound, you know, you being yourself. I meet you in real life, and it's not an aesthetic on Instagram. It's like, that's really how you talk. That's really how you dress. That's really how you call some bullshit out. Women have children and rock the shit out their lives and not care about what people have to say about them raising their kids, what people have to say about, like, the confidence that it takes to be a mother. That shit is very inspiring. <laughs> of Southern females that don't get their props like they deserve. You know, we got gangster boobs before me and then I came along. And this is my sister, I love her. I told y'all we food, we argue, we love one another, but we never got to fighting, we never got in each other's faces. I feel like female rappers absolutely support each other. There's a group of us. 
you gonna play, you gotta play with the boys. You gotta be rapping harder than the boys. We the type of motherfuckers where we don't like anybody to step on our toes. We don't like anybody to get in our way of what we want in life. I think what's helping change is we're finally starting to see, like, look at these guys. Like, they're blowing up fast as shit. We can do the same if we put each other on instead of being so damn intimidated.